Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. You know the Bargain Channel? Welcome back. Uh, next up. It's Britain's premier shopping channel. You know Daryl and Donna, they present a four-hour lucky dip slot. Daryl's going on holiday somewhere. They want me to fill in. I like you in this shop. Oh, thanks, Magda. Because you're not funny. Marty, I'm good at this. Get over it. I'm on the fast track now. This is going to lead to all sorts. Mel, wake up. It's all kicked off at the Bargain Channel. Daryl's dead. Dead? Yes. Magda's going to be devastated. But how has he died? I'm afraid he choked on a canapé. No. Anyway, they've asked me to stay on. They want me to do Lucky Dip full time. This could be a whole new career for me. Well, maybe I'll just drop by and hang out. I know what this is about. You want to see Donna again, don't you? Donna? Oh, will she be there? These limited edition windmills are available now for only $29.99. That's right, Donna. And in fact, these have been so popular that we've decided to extend the offer for another week. We have indeed. <laughs> and of course, you can't buy these in the shops, can you? Not at all, I'm afraid. Shops just don't sell these. They are exclusive to Bargain Channel. So give us a call now. 08081 570 570. And I'm going to wind her up now so we can hear her play again. Good idea. And we'll see you after the break when we'll be showing you a brand new way to clean your toilet. And cut. That was great. I think we're really beginning oh, to find a way of. Donna. Hello, Bert. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, lovely to see you. I thought you could do with some decent coffee for a change. Just not right. Why not? I'll tell you why not. She's my co-presenter. That makes it wrong for starters. It's unnatural. Unnatural? Yes. It's incestuous. I introduced them and now Marty's taking advantage. I mean, what if the tabloids find out? What? Two single people go on a date? Oh, it's more than a date. It's typical of Marty. Can't see why it bothers you. Well, he's distracting me hanging around the studios. Waiting for the next break, fetching her coffees. Mmm, lucky Donna. Makes you sick. And supposing he gets her pregnant, then what? Oh, then they'll have a baby, won't they? Exactly. And Donna will have to have time off, and they have to find a replacement who might not work quite so well with me. And that would be a complete pain. See, he hasn't thought about that, has he? No, I don't suppose he has. Not as easy as it looks, selling porcelain windmills and selling flush starter kits. Mm. It's all about having a rapport with your co-presenter. What if I started going out with Izzy? How would you like that? That's an absurd comparison. No, she's your PA. It's the same thing. Not really. Unless you're in a sexual relationship with Marty. Oh. In which case, maybe there's something I don't know. You are. That's what this is all about. You're having sex with Marty. No, I am not having sex with Marty. I have come at bedtime. Uh, no, you haven't. Let's come back. Let's sort this out now. Ten quid. Oh, is it a dog bowl? No, I think it's for babies and, and stuff. secondly, the design. Now, let's just have a look at the factory. And if we turn Sam, it do you mind if I watch the news headlines? I've got to... What's wrong with the television? Hmm? The television? Oh, yeah, we put it on and it was upside down. Yeah, I think there might be something wrong with it. It's a brand new television. It was working fine. Are all the channels like that? I don't know. We're just watching this. How the hell's that happened? Ludwig's dream of a magic... So what's your spin on your abysmal... Maybe it's one of those televisions that sort of sometimes goes upside down. Oh, what, you've heard of that, have you? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. Did you get it off the bargain channel, Dad? No, of course I didn't get it off the bargain channel. It's a proper make. Huh. I've got to go to work. Can, can you ring the helpline, see if they'll sort it out? Uh, yeah, we would. Dad, just, uh, we've got stuff to do. Yeah, pretty full on today. It would just be a phone call. Yeah, they keep you waiting for ages. Yeah, they just waste your time. Yeah, well, obviously I wouldn't want that, but on this occasion, could you just get off your... Could you put the call in for you? You wouldn't actually need to move. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Thank you. I'll get the number for you. If I can find the paperwork, it was there. Who's moved that? Dad? 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 Yeah, 
could you put the television back on? Because we're watching the, you know. Yeah, sorry. Because the the radio, and then I think on television. Larry, the Larry, I spoke like that. So what do you reckon? Tenor. It's pop. Have you seen the paperwork for the new TV? It was in there on the chest of drawers. And now it's not. I have iron shirt for you. Yeah. For Daryl's funeral. Yeah, oh God, it's tomorrow, isn't it? I am really sad Daryl is dead. Yeah, yeah, we're all devastated. It was in a plastic envelope, about. I would like to send flowers for Daryl. Yeah, or you give money to a charity. Right? What charity would I send? Well, up to you, maybe a, a, an anti-choking charity, you know, does research into canopy-related deaths. There is this charity? Probably, who knows? I'm sure Daryl wishes there was. And perhaps I could go to funeral. What? Oh, perhaps, yeah, Magda, but not this one. It's friends and family only, I'm afraid. You'll have to find another one to go to. You a friend of Daryl's? Yeah. But when you started at Bargain Channel, Daryl was in holiday. Oh, dear. And then before you had not met him. It's on holiday. On holiday. We've been into all of this. Anyway, I can't hang around chatting. Oh, and television programmes are upside down on your television. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. I'll have it sorted out for you as soon as I can. Yes. It would have been a lot simpler if you hadn't thrown the guarantee away. Love. Yes, it's uh, 18 karat gold, an absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry. Uh, 18 karat gold equivalent. 60 seconds, everybody, please. Donna, Donna. Donna, 60 seconds, if you... We probably should just... If you want to, um... So I think any girl would be thrilled if you put this ring on her finger, so give... 30! Donna, it's, uh... An, uh it's, Donna, it's 30 seconds. And one of the floor manager's getting a bit... You know. Uh, it's 18 karat gold, as I say, with a diamond skin set, really. Ten seconds. Donna. Donna. It's it depends on ten the seconds thing. before we're on. And going live in five, <laughs> four, four All right. three. Now, next up is this beautiful eternity ring. It is simulated diamond-esque and 18 karat gold equivalent. And it really is the perfect present for someone you love. Or, should I say, from someone you love, Rick. <laughs> That's right, Donna. So, come on, all you gents out there. I'm absolutely sure that any girl would be thrilled if you put this finger in her ring. On her ring? No. What am I saying? Now, obviously, what I meant to say was would be thrilled if you put this ring on her finger. Because it is such a lovely ring. Uh, a ring for eternity. A ring that says, I love you, let's be together forever. Or it doesn't have to be that serious, does it, Donna? It might be more of a short-term thing. Um, I like you quite a lot. Let's uh, keep it casual. No strings, here's a ring type of thing. You decide. Lines are open. 08081 570 570. Give us a ring. About the ring. And here is a taster of what's coming up later in the show. Cut! Don't worry, I think I got us out of that. What do you mean, not your fault? In what way wasn't it your fault? Well, in that I didn't say it. Well, you might as well have said it, because you distracted me into saying it. Oh, please. Yeah, I have a lot to think about in there. I've got the product, people talking in my ear, video clips. I know, it's like you're a TV presenter. Yes, yes. So the last thing I need is you hanging around in the studio like some kind of competition winner. Come on, at least they saw the funny side of it. So I'll buy you lunch, for all time's sake. Oh, what's the matter? Not having lunch with Donna? No, I'm eating her later. Oh, God. We're just friends. Of course you are. We are, and, you know, let's keep it casual, no strings, here's a ring type of thing. Shut your face. It was hilarious. Why did you have to come to the studio anyway? The funniest thing you've ever said. Can we just drop the subject? What I'm saying is that it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Exactly, and lucky for you, it was the bargain channel, so no one was watching anyway. Oh, thanks. Except for shopaholics and screwballs. Oh, bad luck. The Bargain Channel. You must be feeling terrible putting your foot in it like that. Or should I say finger? <laughs> well, you were watching, were you? Oh, God, no. It's on YouTube. What, already? I know. Extraordinary, isn't it, these days? You do something that makes you look an absolute tit, someone uploads it, next thing you know, it's gone all around the world. <laughs> Progress. 
It's actually why we do those bloopers. It's a viral marketing thing. Oh, I see. They actually want presenters who make mistakes. Well, they've hit a gold mine with you, then. Uh, can I have ravioli and... So you're saying the whole thing is actually scripted? Yes. Oh, well, that is clever. Yes. Very funny. Yeah. Well done, Marty. So, a ravioli and a Coke, was it? Sounds good. Same for me, except can I get mine without the garlic bread? Sure thing. What? Hi, Donna. How is your workout, Donna? How's my minty, fresh, garlic-free breath, Donna? You were mentally ill. I just realized, after all these years, that's what it is. Sam, did you make that phone call about the television? What? The television. Did you ring them? Uh, oh, uh, right, yeah. No, not really. Well, I didn't need to in the end because uh, Ben fixed it. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Well done. Ben. Hmm? Oh, it doesn't matter. What time are you supposed to be there? Eleven o'clock. Yeah. So it's a full burial and everything. And it's only fifty-two. Did he have any children? No. I don't know, actually. Well, you'd better find out, just in case they want you to do a eulogy. You don't think they might ask what? me? Given that you'd never even met him? Probably not. No, but they might. You've got a point. I am his successor. What if they ask me to say a few words? Just tell them that you're too upset. I'm sure they'll understand. I am upset. You can still be upset about someone's death, even if you didn't know them. I look at Diana. Or, or JFK. I was very upset when he got, you know... <laughs> And I didn't exactly know him. You were two years old. That's sort of my point. I was two, and then I grew up, and I found out what happened, and then I was upset. Well, anyway, give my condolences to Daryl's widow, mm. if he has one. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, I am sure the picture is upside down. That's right. No, 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 I, I agree. That shouldn't happen. And that's why I'm ringing. No, because I've tried that and that didn't work either. No, oh, please don't put me on hold. Oh, oh hello, Rick. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a minute? Uh, not really. I'm a bit Well, busy. it's about my mother's windmill. I'm just talking to... What? My mother's windmill. She, uh, she bought it off you. Well... From your from your bargain channel, it's Britain's premier shopping channel. Anyway, she's she's very disappointed. You see, the sales don't go around. Oh, I'm sure they do. No, they don't. They're jammed. Look, they're not really meant to go around. Yes, they are. They're supposed to turn around and play a tune, just like the one you showed on the television. Yeah, you have to wind it up with a key. Oh, well, she tried that, and the key just snapped clean off in her hand. Well, I think she must have used too much force, to be honest. She's 85, Rick. So it's not really anything to do with me. Shoddy goods is what I call that. No, it's not, not shoddy. It's some heritage Well, the connection. sales don't go around, the musical feature doesn't work, and the keys bust. What do you call it? Look, I, I, could, I could really do without this. I've got a funeral to go to. And it's all very... very distressing. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Uh, was it a relative? No, it was a friend. It was Daryl from the Bargain Channel. Oh, yes, 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 of course I... Uh... I didn't realise you knew him. Yes, yes I did. Oh. In fact, I was best man at his wedding. I had no idea. Well, there you go. I was just talking to his widow. Yes, 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 of course. Well, uh, this is the best way, and given the circumstances, I'm, um, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Is that, um, is that music? Hmm. Yeah, she's listening to a lot of music. It helps with the grief.
What are you doing here? Don't ask me to come. <sighs> Where is she? She's on her way. Is here. I know. She was outside. She wanted to pay her respects, so I told her to come in. What the hell did you do that? The hell did you do that for? She was a fan. There's a whole bunch of them outside. Oh, a load of losers. That makes you sick. Oh, look at her. She actually looks like she's gonna cry. I know. At a funeral. How inappropriate. She has no right to be here. You can't go around gate crashing funerals. She didn't even what? Get his job? At least she didn't punch the air when she heard that he died. Oh, just been out there talking to some of his fans. It's so sweet they've shown up. I know. Daryl would have loved it. We're gathered here to say goodbye to a dearly loved member of our community. Let's take this time to recall Daryl's contribution to our lives. Daryl was a good man. Let us take a few moments. Unbelievable. She's filming it. Ragda. Remember, Lord, that <sighs> those who have died and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, especially today, when we pray for Daryl Mason. May he and what was all that with the water when you came in? What? Back there, in the water. What's all that about? I'm a Catholic, that's what we do. You're not a Catholic. He's brought up Catholic now, shh. Grant for us forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, look with favor on your church and accept this offering and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Bit of a song and dance, isn't it? The incense and bells and stuff. Church of England, they just get on with it more low key, you know, they're showing off. Shh. Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. I would like to invite anybody up now who would like to partake in Holy Communion. I don't get this celibate thing, do you? Priests. Why would you sign up for that? A lifetime of celibacy. I mean, you be. Rick. I wonder they're all a bit weird. You shut up. What are you doing? Keep okay. taking communion. We're in Rome. You're not a Catholic. It's up to me. So, how did the funeral go? Yeah, it, it, was, it was nicely done. It was quite moving, really. Hmm. 
So no one choked on a communion wafer, for example. Who told you? Magda. She was quite worried about you. Well, she should be. I nearly died. It was like trying to swallow a piece of plywood. Went straight to the back of my throat and got stuck. It was really serious. So is taking communion if you're not a Catholic. You'll burn in hell, you know. I was only joining in. Everyone else stood up. It was like a Mexican wave. I didn't want to ruin it, like some stick in the mud. You're lucky the priest knew what he was doing. I can tell you think it's hilarious. People don't realise how dangerous choking can be. I think Daryl's... By the time they did some research into it, they should start a charity to fund it. Anyway, I don't know why Magda's banging on about it. It wasn't that big a deal. Most people didn't even notice. What? Even when Daryl's picture got smashed? Is the television working yet? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. What's the special? Uh, free range chicken Caesar. Yeah, I'll have one of those. And can I have. And uh... don't worry, I'll cut it up nice and small. So you don't choke. <laughs> Marty told you, did he? Hey, no, it's on YouTube. YouTube? How the hell did it get onto. Yeah, make that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it is hilarious. <laughs> that priest. Mm, mm, I bet you were thinking, oh, hello. I was thinking <laughs> I'm going to die, actually. Oh, dear. And then when you smash the photo. That's not what happened. It is. I think so. It's on YouTube. Anyway, how do you keep finding this stuff about me? Oh, I've got an alert set up. What? Yes, any mention of Rick Spleen on the web and I get a ding. Well, more of a uh-uh, actually. Don't be stalked. <laughs> Come on. Do I look like a stalker? So anyway, just out of interest, how do you go about setting up one of these alerts? Oh, I wouldn't bother. You hardly ever come up nowadays. There's only been a couple of mentions of you in the last year or so. I'm one of those you definitely wouldn't want to read. You know what? I think I might skip lunch. Oh, you sure? I've got soup. Hello? Yeah, never mind all that, Magda. Give me a phone, please. Oh, very good. I like it. Yes, Magda, give me your phone. Do not have. Can you give it to me now, please. I do not have mobile phone today. Oh, where is it? Snappy snaps. Getting the photos developed. At funeral, Marty borrowed. Oh, Marty borrowed it. Marty borrowed it. And I forget to ask for it back. Why do you want phone now as well? I don't. It doesn't matter. In fact, Magda. You are owed an apology. Yes. And I will make sure Marty gives it to you. So if you will excuse me. Oh, hello, Rick. Sorry to bother you. Have you got a minute? No. Only I was wondering, now that the funeral's taken place, did you get a chance to ask about my mother's... No, I didn't. We did agree that you were going to settle yeah, that. Yeah, it's not a good time. I'm off to work, actually. Oh, well, that's ideal, then. Because I've looked to the terms, and it's quite clear from the small print that my mother's entitled to a full refund or a replacement if within seven working days of purchase... All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, incidentally, th uh, your friend Daryl. Daryl? The one who died? Yes, I know who Daryl is, thank you. Well, do you? Because it did start me wondering. What did? 
Well, you said you were best man at his wedding. Yes. Yet he never got married. <laughs> it's in all the obituaries. So how could you possibly have been the best man at his wedding? So what they said? <laughs> Journalists. Just make stuff up. No respect for the dead. I don't know how they live with themselves. Oh, you, you, you've you been eating them? No, it's all right. I'll just get you another one or your money back or... Because I don't know about you girls, but in my experience, when it comes to peeling spuds, most men run for the hills. Well, this is a turbo peel, and it looks like it could change everything. I've even got Rick here into a penny. Very fetching, Rick. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Not sure it's my colour. But there is a serious point to make here. Turbo peel is so easy to use, it's actually quite fun. Here's a carrot. Look at that. It's done in seconds. It's as simple as that. And a parsnip, often thought of as the awkward vegetable. Same again. It's done in seconds. No more tears. Look at this. Here's a potato. And there, they're just a cinch. But you know what? Don't take my word for it. Turbo peel is used in many professional kitchens. So let's see what top chef Gary James has to say about it. Hi, I'm Gary James. Today I'm talking to you about these Bloody amazing... hell. It's hard enough selling all this crap to all those retards out in Chavland, filling their bungalows with shite. Rick! You go... That went out, didn't it? Very nice working with you. <clears throat> Thank you. about my mother's, uh... Oh, yeah, your refund. Sorry, may I? Oh. How much was it? Look at that. 